if you look back from around 2019, and you look at the regulators starting with the FFIEC and the Office of the Control of Currencies, and in Europe, the EBA, they start talking about cyber and operational resilience. So that moves beyond the need to detect threats and recover and report, and it, and it starts to talk, and this defines resilience as being the ability to anticipate, withstand, recover from, and adapt to. And, and what, what you saw there was not just being more proactive and doing risk assessments and ensuring that you're mitigating threats before they turn into incidents. It talks more about focusing on critical business functions so you don't have to boil the ocean. And for me, from my experiences, and particularly if you look at almost all of the major incidents in financial services in Europe in the last few years, it's both adversarial and non-adversarial. So if you put the correct controls in place to allow you to understand your environment, you don't break things when you make changes. When you, make, when you undertake migrations, you don't prevent your customers from accessing their, their funds for days on end. Um, and what we've seen there is that began kind of late last, cent, uh, last decade, and DOOR is carrying it through and being much more prescriptive and much more specific. It's giving you something that you can work against. And then if you look at NIST 2, NIST 2, at the moment we're waiting for some specifics, but it's building again on door. I think there's a consensus now and it's about resilience. Um, so I didn't answer the question you asked me, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. It was, it was more, do we, do we think that regulators are getting better? But, I mean, yes. Yes. Well, no. Right, okay. Because, in, because enforcement is not consistent. Um, and, it, and, and NIS 2 has recognised that because with NIS, the way enforcement ha was handled across the different European countries was totally inconsistent. So if you're a, a multinational organisation operating in multiple countries, how do you deal with that? Um, so I think no, but again, I think that's been recognised and it's probably going to get better.